Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some niche perfumes to review for you. I have one from Nino Amadeo and two from Stephanie de Brun. Um, so I'm gonna be letting you know what these smell like. Today's video is sponsored by the perfume website Max Aroma and these brands are available on there. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this going through all different different perfume ranges so do check them out and if you're a regular do check to see if you're subscribed turn on notifications and give my videos a thumbs up if you like them that really helps me I will leave the link to Max Aroma down below in the description box so that you can check out these fragrances so Max Aroma is actually based in New York they actually have free shipping in America for orders above $10 and they send samples with all their shipments and they stock lots of different niche fragrances alongside designer mainstream fragrances as well. So I'm excited to try two brands that I haven't tried before. And the first fragrance from Nino Amadeo is called Le Vie La Vie and it means the dream life in French. Nino Amadeo is a French perfume brand recently founded in 2019, so a very new fragrance house. I understand that Nino Amadeo is a perfumer that has been created perfumes for a long time for other brands and now has launched his own brand under his own name. The fragrances are described as bewitching, refined, surprising, original, vibrant and exclusive with both vintage, contemporary and modern tributes. So this one is actually a really interesting scent. It's definitely got a lot of lasting power. I can really smell it on me. I've been wearing it on my wrist. It has a marshmallow note in it, which I really got at first, this very warm marshmallowy note. But it's now settled into a very powdery, sugary orange blossom. So you really are getting a powder, musky vibe from this with a sort of vanilla, sugary note, which is, I guess, softer than the initial marshmallow note was. And then the orange blossom. So it feels feels very soft but also pretty strong. I think just a couple of sprays of this and you'd be able to smell it, you know, for many, many, many hours. It feels very classic. I think it's good for people that want something that's like sweet and warm but not something that's like a sort of Ariana Grande sweet or that kind of sweet, something that's a bit more grown up, classic and that really powdery note as well is a very classic powder. It is of course an eau de parfum Fam, and it really is performing like an eau de parfum. I can really smell it. Very pleasantly surprised. Definitely one for fans of powdery scents, almost like a makeup type scent, but really, really powdery. And definitely good for lasting. I can tell that they're using good quality ingredients. So I have another French fragrance house here to try that's also available on Max Aroma. And this one is Stephanie de Bruin, um, again, based in Paris. This house has been going since 2008 and they have over 40 perfumes. And um, the presentation is really nice. So it comes in um, a really classy box. This first one is called Lilo Sin and it actually means Swan Island if my Google Translate is working correctly, um, which is a cute name. So you can see um, there are sort of thick rectangular bottle and then underneath it's gold there really nice touch so let's try our swan island this is an eau de parfum so this is actually not that dissimilar to the other one um, it has orange blossom as the main note but this is slightly more fresher orange blossom you've got loads of other floral notes in here gardenia jasmine honeysuckle and then there is an iris which is giving a little bit of those powdery vibes this one feels quite delicate it feels very feminine pretty i love the name swan island i can imagine you know a sort of ballerina swan lake person wearing this um, you know it's feminine, classy, floral. It feels quite springtime to me, but because there's no sort of top notes of citrus or anything like that, it doesn't feel light. It feels like it has a good body. Mm, really orange blossomy, but I'm really getting almost that kind of marshmallowy orange blossom vibe, if you know what I mean. Very pretty, again, super, super classy. And then I have another one from Stephanie de Bruin, which is called Cashmere. And I think this is a men's fragrance. It comes in the red presentation box and the bottle 
has that little red bow on it, which is cute. Okay, let's try. Oh, so this feels quite alcoholy. It has quite a lot of leather in it, which I'm really getting. Ah, so now I'm starting to get a little bit of oud, quite a lot of juniper as well. I think that is reminding me of juniper when they put it in a gin and tonic, kind of sm smells a bit like that. Patchouli, there's a cedar in here as well. So even though I, this is masculine, it's male, I think ladies that like a more leathery, juniper, masculine type vibe could definitely wear this. I personally would say it's unisex. Mm. Now it's really becoming all about that juniper. So it's got a freshness from the cedar and the juniper, like a greenness, but it's got that real masculine kind of cozy, mysterious leather in here as well. And then a hint of an ambery, oudy scent, but it's not the main note like oud so often is. It's much more subtle in the background. Mm, it smells very classy. I think if you smelt this on a man, you definitely think, you know, that this is someone wearing a high-end fragrance. This is actually an essence de parfum. Um, so it's probably a bit stronger than a normal eau de parfum. Mm. Mm, really interesting one. Cool guys, so do check out Max Roma in the link down below in these new fragrance houses. Bit of a different video for you there. Something a little bit niche. So I hope you found that video useful, interesting. Let me know if you've tried either of these brands and what you think of them. That's it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.